first of all let's understand what is a array in vivi.net so array is a data structure like you have integer strings right data types is a data structure that can store a fixed size sequence of elements of the same type for example i would like to store all the fruit names so what is the data type it's a string and you would like to store multiple fruits in one variable for that we will use an array so array are useful for storing multiple values in a single variable that is the use so let's see practically how it works let us first declare a variable so i'll say dem and then let's type a variable called fruits and the variable type i will say as string pretty simple how we declare a variable now what is the difference when you have to create an array i'll show you for example if i say equals to and use the braces the curly braces and start using you know uh, within that let me type few fruit names for example let's start with orange comma let's say banana comma uh, and then let's say apple so i have stored three variables now if you see this still having an error why this you have created a variable and storing multiple values so it is not allowing you to store multiple values how would you allow it all you have to do after the fruits variable use a parenthesis symbol so this symbol represents it's an array variable so array means now you can see the error has gone and it is allowing you to store multiple values in a single variable so fruits is the variable and this tells you this is an array and these are the values stored inside the variable now how do i print these values for example let me say message box dot show and within the parenthesis let's write the variable name so fruits now remember it has got three elements at the moment within the array so it's a fixed size so we have fixed the size of the variable to contain three elements now what i will do to access the very first element within the parenthesis you have to write zero remember in an array the first value that you are storing this represents the index number 0 index number means the starting number 0 1 2 even though there are three elements the count the index number starts from 0 so when i say 0 that means it is going to print orange on the screen let's save this and run the code if i run it what is the output i have got orange and why it is giving orange because i am trying to print the index value 0 so whatever is there in the zero position that you print so zero position what is there orange in first position what is there banana if i change this to 1 and try to run it it will print the value that is there in the first position which is banana similar way if i type 2 here and try to run the code what happened apple has come now think what if i am going to type 3 here so in the position number 3 i just said the position starts from 0 0 1 2 now in the third position we don't have anything so what would happen if you type like this if i am going to run the code you can see it has given an error what is this error talks about index was outside the bounds of the array it is outside the boundary of the array so your boundary is fixed size so you have put 0 1 2 the moment you are trying to print anything outside of this range or outside of this boundary this gives this range uh, error index was outside the bounds of the array let me close this so now you have understood how it works now what if i type one more fruit name 
okay for example um, orange banana apple uh, let's say kiwi now if i'm going to run the code you will see last time we got an error now kiwi is getting printed that means it has the value so zeroth position we have orange first position banana second apple and third kiwi so that's how it is printing great now there is another function i am going to show you let's say i would like to understand what is the length of this length means how many values are there do not get confused when i say position i am talking about 0 1 2 3 when i say length it will count 1 2 3 4 these are the two differences you should remember so how to print the length i'll say message box dot show and within parenthesis let's write the variable and simply use a method called length all you have to say simply type length hit on tab now if i'm going to run this what is the output is going to show me what is the total length the total length is four okay so number of elements that i ex exactly have is one two three four however the position starts from zero one two three this is the only difference you need to remember when i say position or index the number starts from zero when i say length it is a normal count one two three four clear all right now how do i loop through all of this and print all of them let's say first you should print orange banana apple and kiwi for that let's use the for loop so i'll say for i as integer equals to so generally how you do it the for each loop you start a number because we know the position starts from zero so i'll first start from zero two then what we can do we can smartly type like this fruits dot length minus one why i'm saying minus one because the output of fruits dot length is four minus one becomes three so zero to three so zero one two three this is how it works hit enter automatically vb dot is going to write the next for you now here let's print something now to print i'll use the message box message box dot show and then let's print it so how do you print it simply write the variable name the array variable name and within parenthesis this one we will make it dynamic by typing i because i is the counter variable which is going to hold the first value 0 1 2 3 like that so when the loop is running first it is going to print orange second it's going to print banana apple and kiwi in this order so let's save this and run the code and you can see the very first value has come orange banana apple and kiwi and the loop is complete let's close the program